Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Ransomware attacks are on the rise and are increasing. And a ransomware attack is where the bad guys, the hackers, they find and use vulnerabilities in your PC and in your software to basically take over and encrypt your important files and data. And then once they do that, it basically locks those files and data. And then they want you to pay up and demand a payment to release those files and data back to you. Now, in case you didn't know, Windows 10 comes with built-in protection against ransomware. And this can be found in the Windows security app that comes default and standard in Windows 10. And what uh, the security app does, it uses controlled folder access, you know, to prevent um, uh, ransomware attacks, you know, untrusted apps from modifying your files and data. Now, in Microsoft Docs, it, you know, what is controlled folder access? Now, controlled folder access protects your data by checking apps against a list of known trusted apps supported on Windows Server 2019 and Windows 10 clients. And why controlled folder access is important. Controlled folder access is especially useful in helping to protect your documents and information from ransomware. In a ransomware attack, your files can get encrypted and held hostage with controlled folder access in place. A notification appears on the computer where an app attempted to make changes to a file in a protected folder. So that's basically what controlled folder access is. And this can be enabled over in the Windows Security app. Now, I use Windows Security as my default um, security solution in Windows 10. You might be using a third-party third security app or antivirus. And some of those do have ransomware uh, protection built into them. So if you are using uh, Windows Security, just double click on the, uh, the icon in your system tray. And on the left, just go over and um, head into virus and threat protection. And then just scroll down to the bottom of the page, ransomware protection and manage ransomware protection. You just click on that and protect your files against threats like ransomware, controlled folder access. We have just discussed that. And then this is, this is off by default. So if you are suspecting, you know, ransomware attack or just concerned about that, you can toggle this on. And then you have little, um, uh, you have a block history where obviously I've got no um, recent actions. And you have different filters, recommendations, quarantined items, cleaned items, and so on. And then protected folders. It says here, Windows system folders are protected by default. So all your Windows operating system files will be protected by default with uh, the ransomware uh, protection uh, toggled on. And then things like your documents, pictures, videos, music folders, favorites, and so on. Those are all also protected by default once you have toggled that setting on. And then if there's another important folder on your PC you want to add, you can just go over and find that in the location and then just select folder and add that to you know the protected folders. And then allow an app through controlled folder access. And if obviously there are um, you know apps that it's blocked, but you trust that app as it says, if, a, if controlled folder access is blocked an app you trust, you can basically add and allowed add and allowed app and you can find your recently blocked app so if it's blocking an app you know that you use regularly and you know is not you know part of ransomware you can add that and then you can also browse all apps so you know if you are concerned about ransomware you can always uh, ransomware uh, attacks you can always turn on ransomware protection in the windows security app in windows 10. just a side note though you know this is quite a uh, an aggressive protection and it might you know, give you a lot of the notifications in your, your, your notification center, action center regarding apps that it's blocked. And at first it might be quite aggressive, but if you are, you know, concerned about ransomware attacks, that's a small price to pay. And you can also, as I mentioned, you can always allow trusted apps through, you know, um, the controlled folder access as well. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.